Um, Martin Gantefer, I have been working in the games industry for 16 years now, I think, and have focused mostly as a game designer on narrative-driven um, projects. CGL brought me in to uh, work on a storytelling seminar with the students here, and the seminar was called Nonlinear Adaptation. Um, and what was the goal of the project? It was to examine uh, a linear narrative, in our case a uh, novel, Buchanan, Buchanan novel, uh, The 39 Steps. And to look at a movie or uh, uh, different movies that adapted that novel into uh, a film and then go from there and examine what is the, the process of adaptation from novel to movie and what would be or could be the process of adaptation from movie to game. Yeah, we, we had four weeks of time to create something or, or first to uh, look at the source material to read the novel, the Buchanan novel, which is uh, one of the first or maybe the first real spy novel. Um, then look at several movies. Uh, one, one is by Hitchcock, very famous uh, adaptation of the book. And then I introduced um, an engine, uh, engine and development platform to the uh, students, which is called Renpy and it is a visual novel platform um, and it can of course create visual novels with minimum scripting knowledge. What, what we did indeed was learn some high level scripting and then script those games in Rampa. This project decided to um, take the story into the 1970s. The original 39 Steps story is like First World War. Um, and this one uh, brings it to the 70s uh, and to the oil crisis. I can click through this. Uh, so we see here the students also had to write dialogue, which is also something many of them hadn't done before. Storytelling isn't probably probably isn't only about creating and structuring a story, but also telling it on screen, which means defining actions that the characters will perform and writing lines that the characters will speak. Two things that we uh, try to teach to the students: on the one hand, the theory the structure of stories and the, the strategies in, in which uh, stories are um, composed and can be told, on the one hand that, and on the other hand, uh, what, what are the, the very practical implications for a game development? How do you actually go about doing stuff like that? What is required in terms of structure in terms of plan, in terms of schedule even, and how do you need to think to, to make those things into reality? Because, of course, it requires a certain amount of non-linear thinking and of logical thinking, of course, to, to make a non-linear narrative. And somebody, the, the heroic students of the uh, Köln International School of Designs created all those assets for their game design counterparts of CGL and they did it brilliantly but also everybody involved learned that game design is hard and develop, developing games is, is hard work.